And to what level of confidence do you hold the opinions you just provided to the jury? To a reasonable degree of scientific certainty. Uh, thank you, Mr. Schnell. I have no further questions. All right, cross-examination. Sir, this is the first time that you've testified as an expert as in the field of statistical and forensic analysis of social media, isn't it? I've, I've consulted on litigation for it, but it never got to testimony. That's correct. This is your first testimony? Testimony, yes. Right. And this is, and you've never been involved in a defamation case before? That's correct. And you're being compensated for your time here today and the work you did, correct? Berkeley Research Group is being compensated, right. yes. At $600 an hour? That's what they're getting paid. Right. Um, and you're aware that Mr. Depp is being sued based on allegedly defamatory statements. What are the dates of those statements? I, um, my understanding is it's, um, there was something around April 8th, I believe April 27th and June 24th, somewhere in the end of June. Okay. Um, so, and where do you understand those statements to have resided? In the public media. In any particular uh, article or? I, I didn't consider that. All right. So you're not offering an opinion on how widely the articles that contain those statements were read? That's correct. And you're not offering an opinion as to how many people actually saw the language that's been attributed to Mr. Walden? Only a, a minimum number of people who could have seen it based on the tweets that referenced him. Okay. Um, and you don't know even where those references appear in the articles? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, the, there are statements by Mr. Waldman that appear in articles. Do you understand that? I do. Do you know in what portion of the articles the statements appear? I've looked at the articles, and um, from that, I, I've seen where they appear. And, that, and where, in general, do they appear? In, in the middle, the end, what's your sense? That I'm not sure of. I mean, the, the ones I looked at on the 6th and 7th, I think they were towards the top. All right. So you testified that you reviewed a, a number of hashtags that you deemed were negative towards Ms. Heard. That's right? Yes. Yeah. And the, the four you picked, at least the negative ones, uh, Justice for Johnny Depp, that's from one of them, right? That's right. Amber Heard is an abuser, that's one of them? That is one of them. We just don't like you, Amber, that's one of them? That is one of them. And the last one was Amber Turd, right? That is, an, that is another one. Okay. Um, and these four hashtags you identified and searched for, you have no, you don't believe they have any connection, or you testify that there, you have no connection to these three Waldman statements. The hashtags aren't, aren't connected to Waldman, right? Well, I did an additional analysis that did show how many of those had Waldman connected to them, and I found that one out of four of them did. Right. But when you were deposed, you were asked whether, whether these were related, these particular hashtags were related to any of the Waldman statements, and, and you said no at that time. I said more than that. I, I did, I said I, I said I didn't know, and then, and then I said um, I'm basing my, uh, I, I'm looking at Mr. Banya's opinion where he says they would be if they were in large number, and I'm, I'm adopting his opinion and agreeing with him that they must be connected. So, so you're adopting an opinion that hasn't been rendered in this case yet by anybody but you? Well, I know that Mr. Banya has testified. Okay, um, what I'm saying is I know that Mr. Banya, Mr. Banya's disclosure says that he is expected to come to that opinion. All right, but the only person who's ever expressed this opinion to date in this courtroom is you, correct? I, w I wouldn't know. I haven't watched everything. I've watched a bit. So but. You're, you're adopting your own opinion. 
No, I'm adopting the opinion that I read in Mr. Banya's disclosure. And that's not the opinion you had during your deposition. I think I did make reference in my deposition to what Mr. Banya said and that I agreed with it. And you indicated in deposition you didn't take into account statements made in the media, correct? Made in what? I couldn't hear. You said you did not take into account in your analysis statements made in the media. Media. Yes, in the analysis where I gathered data and decided which data to gather, I did not take into account statements in the media. All right. So you looked at data. You produced charts. You did analysis relating to the data. But you had no reason at the time you did this to consider any particular statements. Isn't that true? That's true. I think that's an appropriate scientific methodology to not, to first gather as much data as possible and then drill down on the data. All right. And the Twitter data you collected shows that the four hashtags you identified were in existence before Mr. Waldman made the first statement in April 2020, right? That's correct. Right. In very small number. But justice for Johnny Depp has been around since 2013, correct? That sounds correct. Yeah. Amber Heard is an abuser, and Amber Turd first appeared in 2016, correct? I don't recall, actually. Right. Do you recall if there was any portion of Mr. Waldman's statement that made any reference to Amber Turd? Not that I've seen. Right. People can form a negative view of Ms. Heard without reading Mr. Waldman's statements, correct? People can form a negative opinion of anyone without reading anything. That's correct. And you didn't consider whether there was negative publicity around Ms. Heard other than the Waldman statements? Well, what I did was to report on correlation with these hashtags and certain search terms in particular. I wasn't trying to read anyone's mind as to why they used them. All right. You didn't form any opinion of the million tweets, million-plus tweets that you looked at, were connected in some way to Mr. Waldman's statements? I did eventually, yes. You did eventually after you read somebody else's report relative to testimony that hasn't been given here? I did it before my deposition. All right. You have a demonstrative that counsel played for you. Can we put up plaintiff's 1901 again? This is yours, right? Correct. The biggest spikes, by far the biggest spikes here, are attributable to what hashtag? Justice for Johnny Depp hashtag. And there are spikes that existed considerably before Mr. Waldman's statement? You were asked about that by counsel? One of them did. That was the date that Mr. Waldman leaked the audio tape. The biggest spike was before the statements? Right, the date he leaked the audio. And then there were many statements that, or there are many hashtags, uses of the hashtag, that follow the statements. You'll have to be more specific. Well, so you looked at a million two of these hashtags, right? Right. In your chart, didn't 980,000 of these plus belong to Justice for Johnny Depp? That sounds about right. You'd have to show me, but I'll take your word for it. All right. But the vast majority of them were Justice for Johnny Depp. A majority of them were. Well, it wasn't the majority so large that you had to draw another chart? The reason for drawing another chart is because the numbers were high at particular points, so you wouldn't be able to see the other hashtags. Right. Literally, this is your chart, and all of the other activity at the bottom you can barely see in comparison to the hashtag Justice for Johnny Depp. Right. As I testified, you can barely see them because of the spikes in the Justice for Johnny Depp hashtag, but when you look at the other chart, you can see that those others are still very large numbers. So you're not offering any opinion 
as to what caused these spikes. That's correct. Right. So you're, you're not opining as to why these spikes are there. I'm only talking about correlation. Right. You're talking about a mathematical connection. That's right. Right. Um, and, you're, and you don't purport to be in anybody's head such that you know why they did uh, a particular post with a particular hashtag. That's correct. All right. Uh, there's a second spike that appears to be in July of 2020. Um, yes, the, the pointer was pointing to a different one, but yes. Yeah. Um, were you aware there was a trial in the, in the UK in 2020? I'm aware. And in July? Um, you're saying it was in July? No, but we, as of that, the time of that spike, there was, there was uh, publicity around a trial, correct? I don't know how much publicity there was. I, I know the trial was going on then. All right. There are a number of things called out in your chart um, relative to particular dates, December 17th, February 11th, February 14th. You, you see all those? I do. And there, you, your chart makes absolutely no reference to and does not identify the dates of any of the Waldman statements, does it, sir? Not, no, it doesn't call those out, if that's no. what you're asking. It, it calls out a whole bunch of other dates, but nothing r relative to the Waldman statements. Correct. All right. At some time, at some point, uh, you ran searches for additional search terms: uh, hoax, fraud. I, I think you said fake. Um, and then you don't know why those terms appeared, do you? I'm not sure what you mean by that question. Are you asking you me? Don't, you could not perform a scientific analysis of the reason why these th those terms appeared in the in the tweets you were looking at. Right. I could only show mathematical correlation. Right. You could show a correlation, but but you don't have any idea why they're there. I I can't get into people's heads. Right. And just because the tweet contains one of the terms, does not mean the tweet was in some way prompted by Mr. Waldman. Right. Well. There, there are a few things I searched for, the ones you just mentioned, and then the, the Waldman and Waldmanion uh, terms. So, you know, it's not that big a stretch to say that it's related to, to Mr. Waldman if it's his name and Waldmanion or Minion. Wait a minute, is, is, is the new standard it's not that big a stretch? No. Right, I'm trying to speak. I'm trying to speak. Right? Yes. All right. So, you're not suggesting that you know why Mr. Waldman's name appear in, in any of these tweets? Well, if you look at if you look at the tweets that have Waldmanion, you know, and I, and I looked at a, a large sample of them. Um, Wait, you, just a large sample was uh, two thousand out of a million two. No, I looked at more than that of, okay. of these, but um, that's another thing that I wouldn't expect to be in controversy. Um, you know. When people are saying that they're part of the wild minions or, th or things like that, um, I would expect everybody to agree without arguing that it has to do with Mr. Waldman. And nobody asked whether it had Mr. to do with Mr. Waldman. I, I'm wondering, how do you know that it had anything to do with Mr. Waldman's statements? But I was under the impression, I was informed that nobody really knew who Mr. Waldman was before all of this. So <laughs> I wouldn't expect it to be anything else. I didn't think it was in controversy. It wasn't in controversy whether everyone knew who Mr. Waldman was. Is that your testimony? No, I'm saying it wasn't in controversy that um, that if somebody was suddenly talking about him, that it had to do with this case. All right, but again, it's not. Did it have to do with these, this case? It's did it have to do with the allegedly defamatory statements? You have no idea, do you, sir? I can't get into anyone's mind. I can only talk about the science of it. Right. Um. And so you identified all of these uh, hashtags as, as 
as a negative towards Miss Hurt. Right? Right. Justice for Johnny Depp is not negative towards Miss Hurt, is it? No, but the tweets that use that hashtag are. No, but the hashtag itself, the, the, the hashtag that predominates through your analysis is not, in fact, negative towards Miss Hurt. I'm not talk, I'm not opining on the hashtag itself. I'm talking about the tweets that contain that hashtag. But the hashtag itself is not negative. That's not part of my opinion, one way or the other. But do you have an opinion as to whether justice for Johnny Depp is a good thing? <laughs> That's not part of my assignment. Okay. But you'll agree with me justice in general is a good thing? Big fan of justice. All right. Me too. No further questions. All right, redirect. Okay, yes, sir. Um, you, Mr. Chanel, you reviewed um, a, not, a, a large sampling of tweets of Justice for Johnny Depp, correct? I did. And the, tw and the, the tweets that had the hashtag Justice for Johnny Depp, how many of them were negative toward Miss Heard? 